Hey, beautiful souls, beautiful sunshine here with DR Holistic Killer. This is a quick intuitive message that um, I just felt compelled that I needed to uh, tell you guys about. Uh, so I just got finished walking my dog, right? And I just want to make you guys aware of something. So there has been a situation to where like I, my um, neighbor, should I say, uh, has been um, just doing things out of the norm. I say at one point in time is like she... I'm not going to say all this, but anyway, but I'll say all this, that I've been noticing it's almost like every time I go out somewhere or every time I seem to come in somewhere, it's just always seem like she's always there. And she has never done that before. It's almost like she's trying to get my attention in a sense, but uh, I just went to go walk my dog a few minutes ago. So this morning I managed to not necessarily avoid her because I, I tried to, remember I told you guys I did a prophetic message on those things that you don't want, whatever it is you're trying to avoid, that's what the universe is going to give you. So it's not so much that I'm trying to avoid her, but I do try to make it a point to switch up, you know, my times or whatever the case may be, just because I know that she's kind of watching and you know, it's just like watching it. It's just too many things that's just a little off, a little off for me. And I say all that to say because I have like this little, you know how you hang banners up outside? I noticed that I put a banner up and I purposely put it up because it seemed like every morning when I was going to um, walk my dog, should I say, myself and as well as my daughter, I noticed it's like she's cracked her blinds to the point that she can see like because I stay in a town home she cracked her blinds to the point that you can see like when little feet are walking kind of like out the door should I say in a sense so I kind of got wind of what she was doing so I purposely bought a flag I don't normally have like little banners out in my yard or whatever the case may be so I purposely bought a flag just to kind of block her out like so that she couldn't see when we're kind of like coming and going or whatever uh, at least out the door anyway, but you know, that was my way of taking back my power, should I say, because it's almost like she was just kind of violating on different levels, trying to violate. Let me say that. Uh, there's been a couple of times, like every time I'm going out the door some way, shape or form, you know, it's to the point that I just, I totally try to, I totally make it a point to like, avoid her at all costs but it's almost like you know how the bible says to keep your enemies close but keep your keep your friends close but keep your enemies closer so it's almost like i'm not necessarily watching her but i do keep my eye on her in a sense because the the behavior that she's displaying is just like totally out of character from what i normally was used to her displaying, should I say. And uh, for whatever reasons that she's doing what she's doing, I absolutely have no idea, but that just makes me want to stay away even more on top of the fact of, you know, just realizing that the Divine Spirit Light has, you know, exposed her as well too for the things she was doing behind closed doors. So I say all that to say, I just wanted to tell you guys that, um, again, just to be mindful and watch your surroundings and just, you know, just pay attention because you never know who's watching, you know, and I say all that to say in order to make it, in order to stay safe, should I say, um, you know, I'm not saying that these people are meaning you any harm or any threat or whatever the case may be, but just be mindful and just watch your surroundings is, is, yeah, because it just seems like every time I come and go and walk the dog or whatever the case may be, she's just like there. Didn't see her this morning, so she made it a point to kind of appear this afternoon when I went to go walk the dog. But it's kind of how she did it, you know, and it's and it's uh, it's like it's almost like she does things to try to get my attention in a sense. So I say all that to say and um, for those of you who are wondering, like, why won't you give her attention? Because the truth of the matter is you have to take back your power from those people who have tried to uh, smile in your face, manipulate you in some sort of way, um, had a hand in, and I'm not just strictly saying that, you know, astrologically it wasn't going to happen anyway, but just nevertheless, divine spirit of light, remember it's your intention behind the things that you do, you know. I didn't tell you guys, but one time it was so funny because I think it was uh, not this past Christmas, but the Christmas for last. I want to say it, this is 2021, not 20. Uh, but 2019, 
2019 yeah um her and her husband came actually knocking over here on the door just a little bit before christmas or whatever and i thought maybe it was just doing they was just doing a nice gesture or whatever the case may be this is for divine spirit light had actually revealed their true intentions behind the matter because like i said before that you know they would always bring food over at least to my spouse or always make food because he always like you know the i guess spanish or puerto rican type food or whatever the case may be and um so he knew that and her husband was a chef you know at the time and he would always he would always bring you know cakes and all that other stuff anyway and this is things that we would actually eat and feed in my family and divine spirit light was showing me how you know they was doing things through the food in order to you know kind of like sabotage you know uh our relationship in a sense um but anyway uh so i say all that to say that um yeah, so they came over here one day. Anytime somebody gives you a candle, I'm going to say by all costs, don't even light that candle, to be honest with you. As a matter of fact, when people give me candles now, I basically send them things right off to the thrift store. And I basically told my family, basically, do not give me something that, uh, uh, what is it? How can I say it? At one point in time, I just stopped accepting gifts, should I say, because that right there alone was a, just a turnoff. She sent over a candle as well as a box of chocolate cover. Actually, it was white chocolate, white chocolate strawberries from Edible Arrangements. And at first, you know, I thought it was a nice gesture. But then the way I looked at the, the, the strawberries and I was like, mm, this don't look too appealing. So it's so weird because I was actually kind of. After I realized what was going on, the Divine Spirit Light had, had basically had exposed, you know, what they were doing behind closed doors, as well as her and her mom, you know, for trying to do witchcraft and all that other stuff, you know, on top of the fact of food, you know, um, I say all that to say that, um, and this is just me speaking my truth, y'all. This is just something that I have had to experience. I know everybody's situation is different. I'm not targeting anybody. I'm just telling you what I had to deal with. And yes, I'm... <laughs> Yes, let me just say what I had to deal with. So I say all that to say, you know, my plans when moving here was not to make this my last stop. So just know that I will not be staying here much longer. I'm just waiting on the divine spirit of light to say, let's go, get it, get it going. It's go time, move time, you know. So I say all that to say that, um, I, like I said the other day, I'm thankful for the lessons because she definitely was a teacher of what not to do and what not to, you know, receive from certain people. And I say that in a very, uh, I say that from a standpoint of not saying that that's necessarily a good thing, but I'm just basically saying that for all the lessons that, you know, I had to learn through her, you know, if it was with the witchcraft, the food, accepting candles from people, because I got to thinking about it, I was like, the candle smelled really good, and, but I didn't really eat the edibles or rangers too much, I want to say I probably had like one, but just for the mere fact that my daughter had actually eaten some, I was a little pissed off about that, because her intentions behind it, because when she came to the door initially, I know I had this conversation before, but I didn't really finish it, when she came to the door before, it was as if, it was as if she looked guilty, should I say, and her husband was kind of like egging on and, you know, she, she was kind of hiding behind her husband. She was pulling that coward card uh, is what I got. But anyway, nevertheless, at that time, Divine Spirit of Light had not necessarily revealed certain things to me. But he did reveal one particular thing to me that wasn't so much threatening, but it was violating, should I say, especially violating my uh, relationship wise in the spiritual you know, the spiritual realm, but I say all that to say, you know, I lit the candle and then I just kind of got the feeling like spirit was like, just throw that candle out, throw that candle out. Because I really felt like every time I lit that candle, she was able to try to, as I said, watch it behind hidden, hidden behind her eyes. I'm about to sneeze again, y'all. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't know why I keep doing this when I get on camera. But anyway, I say all that to say that every time you light that candle in some sort of way, you know, she doesn't set the intention around that candle that, you know, she is able to have lurking eyes, you know, have those, um, yeah, just being able to just kind of tap into somebody's energetic feel. You know, all people have to do is just set that, set the, use those items as like tell, talesmans, am I saying that right? You know, set the intentions behind them and so on and so on. And then, you know, people... People can manipulate energy. Let me just say that. And she have definitely taught me a lot of different lessons that, you know, I'm grateful for. I didn't like them, but I'm grateful for. But at the same time, it's just like I keep one eye on it at the same time. But anyway, I say all that to say. Uh, 
anyway, I say all that to say, speaking of, she pulling up now, <laughs> but I say all that to say that, um, yeah. So anyway, so I got rid of that candle and I thought about the edible fruits, which is so funny because I was like really traumatized because I know, uh, I was given a Mother's Day gift and it was through edible arrangements yet again. And I was a little traumatized by that. So because the funny thing about it is when I saw that arrangement, that arrangement also kind of remind me of the same arrangement that she had. And when I saw the arrangement and I looked at it, the strawberries. Now, need I remind you, my spouse in the past had bought me edible arrangements and they were all fine. And they look, the presentation was actually nice and so on and so on. But because all of these arrangements was actually strawberries, I just thought it was very, very, very ironic should i say and then my spouse turns um uh, excuse me uh my ex turns around and and buys me an edible arrangement and then granted it came with flowers as well as the strawberries but it was the same it was the package was was a little different but it was almost like the same packaging so the first thing i thought to myself was is this him actually sending this edible arrangement because he was already a little upset with me anyway from you know the beginning of the year but i'm not gonna get into all that but i say all that to say so when he sent the edible arrangement the first thing i thought about I was a little traumatized by that because it looked like the same arrangement that she had the only difference was she had the white chocolate and the drizzle in black and he had actually had the dark chocolate you know and it had some sort of uh i think white drizzle in it but the arrangement he had came with flowers and the one she had didn't come with flowers at all. So yeah, I kept the flowers, but I didn't really eat the strawberries because again, I was just trying, I was traumatized because again, I said she had violated uh, my relationship, should I say, with my spouse, in other words, at the time that um, tapping into our energetic field to see what we were talking about, you know, um, behind the scenes and i don't mean like physically talking i mean spiritually talking and communicating amongst each other you know she just so happened that she shows up so i say i'll let to say that people do know how to do certain things and these are just things that they will learn as they were taught from one generation to the another and there's nothing wrong with that that gift seems like a very beautiful gift it really does but it's just how you use it is is, is the intention behind it that makes it unhealthy should i say so i say all that to say just be mindful be vigilant of those people who you see that you know just you don't have to say anything just sit back and observe because eyes are watching as i said that before people are watching and people are just looking to see how you're moving and for whatever else reasons i don't know unless divine spirit of light shows me um but other than that i just felt compelled to give you guys this message this quick message real quick so um yeah, just be mindful and be watchful, you know, more than anything, you know, ask God to give you the eyes and the ears to be able to see the truth, hear the truth, understand the truth and acknowledge the truth. And more important to be able to discern the truth. That's so important. Um, I know I used to ask God that for years and I'm so thankful that I'm at a day and time that I am able to see through the BS uh, that people try to bring. So anyway, I hope that information was helpful for someone and just be mindful when you come and go because, you know, everybody's situation may be different and to what level of extent you don't know whether this individual is off just a little bit, you know, unbalanced, you know, cause sometimes our chakras can be out of whack or a little, you know, they can be unbalanced in any sort of way, whether the obsessive side or whether the, you know, um, the higher side so anyway that's a case of um unhealthiness to me anyway but with all that being said i hope you guys have a beautiful day i noticed the third message i done did today but anyway i hope it was helpful so just stay vigilant during these times and keep your eyes on you know those who do not really or keep your eye on those who you know who are enemies should i say and i don't mean like an enemy like Again, I, I'm not going to say to what level, thank you, Spirit. I'm not going to say to what level that they are because it's going to be different for everybody else, you know. But anyway, so more importantly, um, yeah, you guys stay beautiful. And I wish you all much love, much light until the next intuitive message or until the next prophetic message. Peace and blessings. Bye.